mean, is there anything more festive than a beautiful platter full of almond holiday spritz cookies? Ah! Hi, I'm Melissa Clark, and I'm a food reporter for NYT Cooking, and today I'm going to make one of my favorite holiday cookies ever, almond spritz cookies. A spritz cookie is a cookie that you press from a gun, I guess. What is a spritz cookie? Um, you're spritzing. So we really should look up the word spritz. So I'm gonna come back to you with what a spritz cookie is. The word spritz comes from the German word spritzen, which means to squirt which doesn't actually sound very good when you're talking about cookies, but what that means practically is that you put the dough into a spritz gun or a pastry bag and you press little shapes out. So they're very decorative, they look pretty, and you can make a lot of them very quickly because each click is a cookie. That's a lot of cookies. And you need a lot of cookies during the holidays because, I mean, the reasons are obvious. I've been making spritz cookies since I was a little kid, and what was so great about it was I could decorate it with whatever I wanted. So there would be sprinkles, there'd be little dragées, there'd be colored sugar. Some of it went on the cookies, and a lot of it went right into my mouth. The thing about spritz cookies is that because they're so small and delicate, you can just keep eating them. Like, you don't even notice. They just melt in your mouth, So which is why you should always keep some in reserve off the cookie plate, because you're gonna want some later. You, you don't like spritz I'm cookies? Sure I'll love yours. Wait, 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 wait. You don't like spritz cookies? Probably because you've only had the margarine kind. So do not use margarine for your spritz cookies. They, they need the butter. The butter is the flavor. Non negotiable. You want the butter to be soft when you put it in there. It doesn't have to be melty soft. And you want to let it really get creamy. This could take a minute or two. Just let it do its thing. It's good if it's room temperature, doesn't matter that much, but it'll just mix in a little bit better if it is. The thing about these cookies is you really want that combination of almond flour and almond extract. The almond extract just brings out the flavor of the almond flour. If you want to substitute, just take out the almond extract, substitute flour for the almond meal, and then just add whatever flavorings you want to add. You know, add vanilla extract, add some grated citrus zest, um, a little bit of cardamom, some cinnamon. Um, what else would be really good in there? Bourbon. Bourbon is good in everything. I just make a mess. I just make, I make a mess. Once you add the flour, it mixes up pretty quickly. You don't want to overmix it. You just want everything to come together. So maybe a minute, not even. Yeah, it's done. So what did that dough take entirely with me chatting? It took, I think, seven minutes, maybe? It's a really easy recipe. So the dough is on the soft side. You want it on the soft side because you want to be able to press it through the gun. So as you can see, it's a little bit sticky, which is also what you want. So this is my new cookie press. We're gonna do a teddy bear later. So to load this up, I find it easiest to roll the dough into a cylinder, just a little bit smaller than the barrel, and drop it in. Okay, so you can see that um, when I fill this, there's these air gaps. And so what you're looking for at this point, so I'm clicking it and I'm compressing the dough. And once it starts to come out the bottom, then I know it's ready to spritz. So I'm just gonna clean that off. So I start with a clean, even shape. So this is important. You must make sure to use an ungreased baking sheet. If you have any butter on your baking sheet or parchment paper, the cookie dough is not gonna stick to it. It's gonna come right off with your gun when you lift it up. You just wanna give it one click. The first one might come out a little funny. No, yeah, he lost a leg. If he loses a leg, you just plop it right back on. Hey, little bear. You can space them pretty closely together because they don't spread very much. Like one inch apart is fine. There he goes. Okay, now I'm gonna change the, uh, the shape. The thing about a spritz gun is it actually makes you look like you're a much better baker than you might be because it, they look so professional. Let's do some little reads. You guys, I'm gonna turn everybody into spritz cookie lovers, this whole entire room. If you don't have a cookie press, you can use a pastry bag. If your dough is cold and you're doing it with a pastry bag, you're gonna get a workout. Mm. So um, we've switched to a wider tip, and as you pipe, you're gonna be squeezing on the bag and the dough is gonna warm up, so it's gonna get easier. <sighs> Much better. I find the wreaths easiest to do 
and they look really pretty and I like things that look pretty and are easy. Decorating these cookies is really easy. You just have to shake the different colored sugar and sprinkles, little dragées. I mean, you can just go to town. You wanna bake these at 350, you know, start checking them at 12 minutes. They could take up to 15, 17 minutes. And you're looking for them to be set and also just golden around the edges. The thing about spritz cookies is they're so pretty. Put all together on a platter, you've got the different colors, you've got the different shapes. They will last a really long time. They really will keep for weeks. Although I don't think they're gonna last for weeks because spritz cookies are the best holiday cookie and you will eat them all up. Mm, so good. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy baking. Enjoy your cookies, and may this holiday season be rich in cookies for you all.